The objective within this lesson is to use whole number multiplication to express equivalent measurements. Let's solve this first problem. Three weeks equals blank days. It will help us to know that three weeks equals three times one week. Then we can go ahead and know that one week we can replace with seven days. Why can we do that? Because we know that one week does equal seven days. So three weeks now equals three times seven days. Three times seven is 21. So that we have three weeks equaling 21 days. Here's another problem. This time we're going from meters to centimeters. 1.05 meters equals blank centimeters. We start with our problem here where we go 1.05 meters equals 1.05 times 1 meter. We know that 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So our next line, we can write that 1.05 times 100 centimeters because 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. When we do that work, we get 105 centimeters. Your turn to try. Show your work. Equals 0 0.75 times 1 meter. 0 0.75 times 100 centimeters, which equals 75 centimeters. Read that together. 75 hundredths of a meter equals 75 centimeters. 0 0.75 meters equals 75 centimeters. Let's convert meters to millimeters. We start with the same line. 0 0.2 meters equals 0 0.2 times 1 meter. There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So we can go ahead and write 0 0.2 times 1,000, which means we multiply it together, we get 200 millimeters. Zero point two meters equals two hundred millimeters. Here's one for you. Pause the video while you do your work. Make sure you show all your work. Times one meter. And so we have that equals zero point zero nine times 1,000 millimeters, which equals 90 millimeters. Shift the decimal place three places, one, two, and three. That's how I got to 90 millimeters. A crate of apples weighs 5.7 kilograms Convert to grams. Okay, let's write that out first. That's 5.7 kilograms equaling blank grams. And then we can show our work. 5.7 kilograms equals 5.7 times 1 kilogram. That's 5.7 times it's grams. There's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. That's why we can replace it with 1,000 grams there. Multiplying that out, that's 5,700 grams. A 
A sack holds 56.75 pounds of sand. Convert the weight to ounces. I know that one pound equals 16 ounces. So I'll use that knowledge to go ahead and write and solve this problem. So that's 56.75 pounds equaling blank ounces. 56.75 pounds equaling 56.75 times 1 pound equaling 56.75 times replace the 1 pound with 16 ounces. And then we multiply that out. Make myself a little bit of room. Six times five is 30. Zero, regroup a three. Six times seven is 42, plus three is 45. Five, regroup a four. Six times six is 36, plus four is 40. Zero, regroup a four. Six times five is 30, plus four is 34. Cross out my regroups, place a zero. Then we have five, six, seven, five. Add those together. And place my decimal point. That's 908 ounces.